What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of this Crystal Palace FIFA 16 career mode. In the final game of the last episode then you saw us pick up a narrow win against Norwich City to end what has been a pretty poor run of form. I don't want to say poor, more inconsistent really. We're not getting wins on a regular basis like we're going to need to if we're going to get that European spot. But we're up in Capital One Cup action here. We're taking on Leeds United here in what is the quarter final. So... Already exceeding, well, these we've met the expectations. They wanted us to reach a corner final. We've done that. Can we go one better? And can we really please the board? And this is the competition, like I said, I really feel we have got a realistic chance of winning. Um, so if we can keep progressing, it would be nice to have the opportunity to pick up some silverware. But you can see we're off to a decent start. Man goes down in the box there. Could have been a penalty. Turned out it was just a miss hit. But we're starting very brightly, as you can see. The ball now touched on to Delhi Ali, who strikes one. It's another good save from Silvestri. We just couldn't find a way through in the opening 20 minutes. But Leeds had chances before the break themselves. You can see they've got the ball on the right-hand side here, just dancing through the defence. No one putting the challenge in at all. The ball drops down. It's cleared away, but not far enough. It's as back as Phillips, who smashes one. And Wayne Hennessy, of course, the man who lines up in this cup competition in goal, forces a good, well, pulls off. A good save to keep the scores level at half time. But early on in the second half, we sprayed the ball out to the right to Wilfred Zaha, who just kept going, going and going, and smashed the ball into the top corner. So an absolute dream start to this second half. We take a one-goal lead. Zaha has been hit and miss, really, for us. He's, he does some good things, but he hasn't always got the end product. So it's nice on this occasion to see the ball ending up in the back of the net. So one-goal lead, and then you'd expect leads to come forward, as they are doing here. Again, it's another good save from Hennessy. Leeds trying to get themselves back in this cup tie. Corner comes in. Um, it's headed down and Cooper comes flying in. It was a really poor headed clearance. He should have done better though. A really good chance for Leeds to get level. But they cut the defence open again. Here's Wood. Kind of stops to set himself before taking this shot. Which gives Hennessy the chance to get in the right position. And again he turns the ball behind. But Cooper again having a shot with eight minutes left. That goes off target. We've really got a chance here to kill the game. It's Berahino with some brilliant work. Plays it through. Wilfred Saha. Can he get his second? No, it's an awful finish. As we were saying a minute ago, very hit and miss and inconsistent in terms of end product. You would expect that to hit the back of the net for sure. And then it looks for a minute, Berahino's going to be through. Hasn't quite got the pace to get away, but he wins the ball back, puts it on a plate for um, his teammate there, Coquelin, who smashes the ball goalwards. It's a decent save from Silvestri in the stick, but it didn't matter that we didn't get a second goal. We're going through to the Capital One Cup semi-finals so really good stuff really pleasing on the cup front it's now time to just get that consistency back in the Premier League we're taking on Newcastle here at St James's Park it's a tough place to come if you remember at the back end of last season they dealt a huge blow and probably was the result that cost us European qualification in the end we were having to get ourselves back in the game we did and then two late goals after some uh, pretty poor schoolboy stuff at the back Gave Newcastle the win in that one. So we're looking for revenge here. You can see Dwight Gale is the man who's starting up front after a bit of fi fixture congestion. Um, and strikers really not getting themselves on the score seat as much as we would like. So Vestergaard and Zuma is a defensive pairing. Eric Dyer is going to go out and play at right back. But a real positive start once more. We've got a habit of doing this at the moment. The ball is played through to Gale. Didn't quite catch the shot as you'd expect. He was quite fortunate the way that it fell to him. But you want him to hit the back of the net once he's in that kind of position. So the strikers for us really... Really not firing off on all cylinders. Thankfully, this man is Alvaro Vadillo cutting inside from the right. Just unleashes a, a powerful right foot shot that went like an arrow. Very little curve on the ball, as you can see. A little bit of topspin. And the ball goes past Carl Darlow, who I'm not sure why he was preferred to Tim Krull for this one. You'd have to ask Newcastle, obviously. But um, not sure why. But at the other end, have a look at this comical defending. We've got about five, six, seven chances to clear the ball. We don't do it. Ayosi Perez makes us pay. Um, ball falls to him, he fires Newcastle level inside the opening half hour. Some absolutely comical defending. Um, ball just bounced around, as I said, five or six times. The clearance when we eventually do try and whack it clear was a poor one. And Newcastle make us pay, so 1-1. One, one. Not what we were looking to happen. It was their first real attack of the half as well, which was disappointing. But we're coming forward once more. Coquelin doing really well to dive into the box. It's a good save from Darlow. Gale with the rebound, following up. Ball kind of rifles its way into the roof of the net. And actually, looking at the replay, the defender heads it and then punches it onto his own hand. The ball, uh, the goal is credited to Dwight Gale. I suppose you could say he was in the right place at the right time. So, back in front. And before half-time, we have the chance to open up a two-goal lead. It's Gale again. And this time, no mistake. This time, there was no doubt either 
about who scored the goal. Dwight Gale just stamps that one in. A really, really good finish. Two goals for him in this opening 45. He's really taken this uh, chance that he's got in the first team uh, and staking a claim for a regular first team place. Again, Darlow was a little slow to react to the shot. Maybe Tim Krull would have done a, bit, a, bit, a little bit better. But who knows? We've got a chance to go 4-1 up before the break. It's Joe Ledley cutting back on his stronger left foot. He smashes one goal bound. It was a couple of feet wide of the post. But that was the last action of what was, apart from that uh, comedy defending, a pretty solid first half for us. As you can see, two for Gale, one for Vidio. Um, we've managed to get three goals in the opening 45 and give ourselves a two-goal cushion. But again, as you'd expect when they're a team is behind, you think they come flying out of the blocks. And Newcastle done exactly that, catching us on the break here. Ball played out to Sissoko. And I'm quite disappointed with Butland to be beaten at his near post quite like that. It was a fierce strike, um, plenty of power on the shot, and the defenders were just nowhere to be seen. About three or four players got the wrong side of us there. And Newcastle now immediately back in this game. So we're going to make some changes. It's Daly Sinkraven coming on. Along with Berahino as we look to just shore things up a little bit. Get some freshness into the game to make sure we hold what is now a narrow lead. And we've got the chance to put the game beyond doubt. It's Berahino obviously just come on. Racing clear of the defence. Can he finish? He kind of overruns it. The ball loops up. It's headed away. Falls to Vidio. Places one into the bottom corner. Darlow does really well. And they just cannot force the ball. Uh, we cannot rather force the ball over the goal line. So it remains 3-2. Just a few minutes remaining now. Cross comes into the area. It's a really good header. Um, and as you can see, Butland is beaten. And Newcastle have got themselves level late on here. Fantastic header. Completely out jumping Kurt Zuma. Butland didn't really have time to set himself. And Newcastle are going to come away from this one with a point after we've got ourselves a two-goal cushion at half-time. So really, really disappointing with that. And we get an email after the game letting us know the type of players that have only got six months remaining on their contract. There's some good names on that list. Yannick Balassi being one of them. Jamie Vardy another. We're going to look to tie those guys down. Obviously, we don't want them going anywhere. They are key players. We offer the deal to Jamie Vardy. Joe Ledley we have a look at and we think, wow, he's demanding £45,000 a week. And for a player that is not a regular first team starter, he's not going to be offered that kind of deal. We decide to hold back on that one. And you can see here Balassi, obviously one of our key players at the club. He's asking for 60k a week. We're going to offer him 50 in the hope that he wants to stay. He wants to continue the progress with this club and hopefully he'll stay. We don't want to be held to ransom using up all of our wage budget. But contracts aside, we're going to look at the league table now. We're still in the top four. You can see we're four points behind second and third place, Manchester City and Everton. Chelsea are top, and then you've got Manchester United four points behind us in fifth, and Newcastle, of all teams, in sixth, also four points behind us. Had we managed to hang on at St James's, that would have been a massive victory. You've got Villa, Watford and West Ham now occupying the three relegation places, but things are going OK. We're just dropping points where we shouldn't be. Putting ourselves in good positions, not managing to hang on or losing games that we really shouldn't be losing. But enough of that. We'll kick on in the future. That's going to bring this one to a close, guys. Make sure you drop a like on the vid and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Links to Facebook and Twitter below. And we'll see you next time.